Hello friends and welcome back to Let's Play Colonization! This Frenchman is lurking outside Roanoke. I don't like that. We've got an ore miner with us and I think I'm going to take him to Roanoke. And he's going to gather fish and then this indentured servant can go over to Plymouth. Because I have a plan for him. Because if you look at Roanoke, I'd like to expand. I could put the ore miner over here and then have one of these guys make tools, but there's not enough food to do that. So I have to have someone fishing out here. And I don't have expert fishermen in Roanoke, so I have to remedy that. There is an expert fisherman in Plymouth, but he's in Plymouth. And I need him in Plymouth. So anyway, let's get this guy to Roanoke. Oh, and here's our explorer in Baja, California. And here's a privateer loaded with silk. Is there anything I need in Boston? Yes, there's silver in Boston. I need to get it out of the warehouse. Let's do that right now. Get it out of there. And I've got scouts up here. I don't know if I speak with these Sioux. I've spoken with these Sioux. And... I will not attack Santo Domingo at present. I'll take these Dragoons up here and load them on a ship to have at these these um, island possessions of, this, of, of Spain. Alright, that's better. And I got our pioneer in Boston who has to clear the rainforest. I'll do that now. And I'm going to move these dragoons to Roanoke to prevent the French from getting uppity. I should really just attack them, but... Oh, look, they left. That was quick. Price of cigars rose. And tools are full at Plymouth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the blacksmith here and move him over to the armory. And he's going to make three muskets per turn. Which is kind of not the greatest idea, because it means muskets will then be subject to the king's whims, but... Oh, I can only do so much against the king. Alright, let's take these goods to... this guy, to Roanoke. Anything I need in Roanoke? Not as such. So I'm gonna make this guy a colonist. And I'll have this guy be a fisherman. He looks kind of ridiculous being a fisherman with a pickaxe and a lantern, but I'm sure he'll figure it out. Alright, our scouts are exploring, and there's absolutely nothing here on the, in the uh, desert. The... oh, what is it called? The furthest reaches of this, of this peninsula. The, anyway, there's nothing there. So this privateer can take this silver back to London, but not before looking for other victims first. All right, little village, that's nice. I'll just have that Dragoon skip his turn. I don't have anything to do with those Dragoons. There are now petty criminals available in London. Ah dear, there go our tools. The tax rate is not going to be a new stamp act, because the ungrateful attitude of the colonists are making the king ill. Ah, the poor king. Colonists refuse to pay new tax. Our poor tools. I really hate throwing all those tools away. All right, so here is our convict. And I have quite a bit of gold, actually. So what I am going to do... Yeah, tools are pretty cheap, but no matter. I'm going to leave that convict the way it is. Plymouth has run out of tools. Yeah, I wonder why. How did that happen? <sighs> Back to the duels. 
Actually, he didn't even produce any muskets. They threw out the tools before they had a chance to make muskets. What a waste. Alright. I don't know what I can do with this caravel. No, I'm just gonna have this caravel go... No, no, no. I want the car... No! The caravel. I want the caravel to go... Right there. Go to the Inca. They'll probably pay a, a good price for trade goods, huh? I can't go to the Inca's capital because it's inland. Oh look, there's a French mission in the, in the Inca capital. That's rich. I'll explore around New Amsterdam, which is kind of, sort of... Actually, it's almost in the right location. New Amsterdam would be around right here, but it's pretty close. Pretty good for a random guess. And here's some more Sioux. They train seasoned scouts, and they want tobacco, muskets, and trade goods. And have I already spoken to them? Because they didn't have anything to say to me. That's weird. I can't tell. All of this land has been revealed, and I haven't actually explored it yet. It's kind of annoying. Oh, and I didn't give a ride to my dragoons. Alright. One, two, three, four. Alright, can I unload these? Yeah, so I can store 160 tools in Roanoke. And I can even store 152 horses. Excuse me, 152 tons of horses in Roanoke. This stable is uh, filled by weight, not by horse. All right. That's good. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two. I'm going to I'm going to use this privateer to move the dragoon over to say Havana here, and this indentured servant is going to go to Plymouth. Now, for my plan in Plymouth, and the schoolhouse is not built yet, so I'm going to have this guy go right here, and look, I can actually feed everyone. That's a bonus. So these two guys are going to build the schoolhouse. Wait, wait, no, let's get to Ah, yes. In days gone by, we couldn't do anything in the fall because it was a harsh winter and everyone had to sort of burrow into their into their caves like squirrels and bears and you just couldn't do anything. But now we are in the modern age. 1600. So we'll get two turns per year. Spring and fall. Ooh. Um, yeah, that's... You can't really tell spring from fall. It would be kind of cool if there was a different color palette for fall, but no, it's the same. There's just two turns now. See, this is autumn 1600. Ain't that great. One, two, three... Whoa. And this Indian was standing in my way. Six. And I'm gonna just gonna go to London with this silver. One, two. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. And the forest in Boston is finally cleared. And tools are required in Boston. I should have taken this galleon over there. Oh well. And the Arawaks have burned Havana. Havana was this, the, right here, was the town right here on, uh, what is this, Barbados? No, Trinidad. This, this island right here. And Plymouth has built his schoolhouse. That's great. So here's what the schoolhouse does. Schoolhouse allows us to train these people if someone is standing there doing nothing but training. And we'll build a warehouse here now. So I can take this fisherman here and put him in the schoolhouse. 
this guy is now going to train someone as a fisherman. And since the only person here who does not have a profession is this indentured servant, he's going to learn to be an expert fisherman. Eventually. Good night! Excuse me. So he will, he will actually train by going fishing. And let's see. Who else can I put? Well, I'm going to have the blacksmith go fishing too because there's not enough food being produced by this indentured servant. So the blacksmith is going to help by fishing as well until someone gets trained. We have a little bit of food in the warehouse so we can survive until someone actually learns the profession. All right, our scouts will now continue exploring California. And the Apache are there. They train seasoned scouts. They want rum, tobacco, horses. And like everyone else in North America, they're going to tell me about nearby lands. You know, they could give me some scouts or something, or give me some beads worth valuable, valuable beads. Here's some Iroquois. They train expert ore miners. There you go. The Iroquois have given me valuable beads. I like valuable beads. All right. This guy has got to, this, this ship has got to go to Boston to resupply this pioneer. So our food production in Boston has increased by 33% by clearing the forest, but we're still relying on the Aztecs' food gift. We don't have enough food there yet. Of course, if we finish the docks, then the fishermen can just fish, but then we'll need someone else to actually build things. Boston is to actually develop. One, two, three, and since since Havana has been burned by the by the indignant Arawak, I will land these dragoons on the island occupied by San Salvador. Whatever that island may be. Stop there. Aztecs give me ore. Tools rose. Uh, tools are an embargo, though, so it doesn't matter. Muskets rose. The desperate survivors of a former colony. Wow, that colony's in the middle of nowhere. In exchange for supplies, they swore allegiance to England. Maybe it was an Indian colony. Oh well. Nothing but rumors. And the Dragoons were not successful. One, two, three, four, five, six. How sad. One, wait. I don't even know. Go to Boston. You will help build Boston. All right. Now to sell our silver. 570 gold of it. Not very much silver, but that's a lot of money. And you will set sail for the New World with that criminal. And we will purchase another privateer, because I have a lot of gold. Why not? Set sail for the New World with that. Well, with nothing. Nopscott's rebelliousness is up to something percent. It's 10%, but sometimes you actually can't tell what's behind the guy's hand. It's kind of weird. Why does he do that? One, two, three. These guys train expert fur trackers. Trappers. They're giving me valuable beads. Good, I just spent 2,000 gold on, some, so, uh, on a ship. Here's another Sioux camp. Kind of in Canada. They train scouts. And they're going to tell me about nearby lands. Yeah, they did. They filled in some holes. One, two, three, four, five. I'll just attack this caravel. One, two, three, four, five, six. Price of rum has fallen. What is going on over here? 
There's some Spanish Dragoons. I do not like Spanish Dragoons. I don't like Spanish. Alright, let's explore the far north here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's have another another uh, try with that caravel. Well, they dodged us twice. An indentured servant in Plymouth has become a free colonist through education. Excellent! So now this is no longer an indentured servant. He has learned from his fisherman master. Soon he's going to be an expert fisherman. And then I can send him over to, to Knobscot. Uh, not Knobscot. Roanoke. Yeah. Speaking of Knobscot, what's going on over there? Whole lot of nothing. Alright. Well, I guess we need colonists there. One of the seven cities of Sibula. Ooh, look at all that gold. That is going to be tedious to get back to Europe. Let's wait for the other privateer. I am going to have at this Dutch merchantman. This fat Dutch merchantman. I'd rather attack with the privateer that doesn't have someone in it first. Three cargo, minus 37%. That's not bad. I'll take those muskets. And I'll take those trade goods. And the tools are just a loss, unfortunately. And I'm gonna have to get this this treasure to the coast somehow. It's really in the middle of nowhere. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just go to Plymouth. Nothing but rumors over here. Well, the galleon is in position, but the treasure is still way over here in the middle of nowhere. So that's a bit of a burden. Alright, that caravel got away twice. One, two, three, four. Will it get away a third time? No. Goodbye! And I'll just send this gold here. Boss road, price of coats fell. Wait for the treasure. Alright. One, two, three. Alright. So now there should be tools for this pioneer. Great. And I will throw these furs overboard because it's just a little fur and I don't want it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's another caravel. I will take a hundred muskets. Goodbye! So now I have a privateer with muskets and trade goods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'll start sending this treasure to the coast. Apache makes a prize raid. Yeah, I'll bet they make a prize raid near Boston. They want my treasure. I will burn their camps if they steal my treasure. Look at that. They've got knives and spears and... They're crazed. They want treasure. 200%. So, what? Three versus one? Apache ambush English scouts. Horses seized by Apache. Oh, boy. I am going to kill those Apache. And a new cargo of sugar is ready at Knobscot. And we don't need it. We don't have anyone to make from there. Next time on Let's Play Colonization, we examine the fascinating stockade recently completed in Roanoke Colony. Also, we punish the evil Apache. <laughs>